The Department of Biomedical Science is composed of all the basic sciences. The mission of the department is to teach medical and graduate students, provide service to the medical school and university, and to conduct high quality research in the areas of health and health issues. Our 30 plus faculty members are actively involved in conducting research in a number of health related areas, including cancer, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, neuroscience, toxicology, and our most recent addition, addiction. In America, right now, smoking addiction really depends upon the area. So in the urban sector, it's a, it's a dramatic growth in electronic cigarettes, whereas in the rural areas, it's still mostly traditional smoking of combustible cigarettes. My area of research is specifically studying uh, vaping use and the unique ability with vaping devices to combine different types of drugs of abuse. What I hope to see in the future of researching nicotine addiction is a reduction in the negative health consequences of smoking-related diseases. So currently there is half a million people that die specifically due to smoking-related diseases, and I hope that my research can point towards regulations that can reduce that negative health impact. Drinking in the U.S., it's part of the fabric of our society. Uh, we drink when we are happy, when we're celebrating, when we're commiserating. It's very widely accepted um, for the most part until it becomes a problem. So we're really interested in not just the acute, but also the long-term effects of that kind of drinking over a long period of time. One of the things that we're interested in are astrocytes, non-neuronal cells that reside in the brain and their influence over the uh, neuronal circuitry uh, that may, may be prompting neuronal remodeling that happens in addiction. I hope to be able to inform people of the risks of binge drinking. That begins in middle school, educating people about what binge drinking looks like and the risks involved and how that can escalate uh, to dependence and uh, alcohol abuse issues later in life. Cancer is one of the top three killers in the United States. Cancer chemotherapy is really advancing. There's a lot of different ways to treat cancer, but all of them have adverse effects. And my interest in my research is to reduce those adverse effects of cancer chemotherapy. Reducing the toxicity of cancer chemotherapy agents has twofold uh, effect. Number one, it will have less adverse effects, so the patient will be in less stress. And secondly, they can use higher levels to kill the cancer cells. And we also want to not deter the cancer killing activity of those agents that are used to reduce cancer. The Genomics Core facility at Marshall University is a centralized research service facility which provides genomic analysis for various projects at the university. Our primary services include RNA-seq expression profiling, mi microbiome analysis, as well as whole exome studies. We work very closely with Jim Denver and the Bioinformatics Corps to provide um, in-depth analyses to our investigators and for publication purposes and for grant writing. I think our department will continue to focus on diseases that are prevalent in the state of West Virginia and continue to seek to determine the molecular, metabolic, and genetic causes of those, of those diseases um, in a search for drugs that will either reverse or prevent those diseases. It's really important to have different areas of research in the same department because it really enhances our collaborative nature. So for example, by enabling us to be together, we can see the different research opportunities and then we can connect different laboratories together so that we can have combined research programs. The thing that attracted me most about this department was that they have an addiction study um, subgroup to their biomedical research program. And being from Appalachia, I've witnessed a lot of friends and family struggle with substance abuse. While we're a small university, we have um, many different fields of study here where you can study cancer, you can study neuroscience, addiction studies, many different facets. And we work with a great group of faculty members that come from a diverse background that really um, contribute to our success in research and becoming uh, successful scientists. We're living in an exciting time where research is advancing faster and faster every year. It's important for us to have cutting edge faculty doing cutting edge research. And I really believe the future of biomedical research in the nation and at Marshall is extremely bright.